Since the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, space exploration has reached exciting new levels. This powerful telescope has revealed incredible discoveries, captivating both scientists and the public. Among these findings are new worlds far beyond our solar system, some of which suggest the possibility of life. The James Webb Telescope has the ability to look deep into the universe, detecting planets that are light years away from us. One of these distant planets has recently become a hot topic among astronomers, sparking intense debate and interest. Its unique characteristics and the potential for life make it a fascinating subject for further study. A few days ago, scientists using the telescope detected promising signs of life on this distant world. These signs include specific atmospheric compositions and surface characteristics that could suggest the presence of living organisms. Despite this exciting discovery, the scientific community remains cautious. While the signs are compelling, they are not yet definitive and more evidence is needed to confirm the existence of life on this exoplanet. But the new discovery from this telescope has surprised astronomers. Scientists looked for new data about this planet, but they found something very strange. New observations suggest that there may be a kind of life on the planet which is completely different from the life seen on Earth. They think it could be a clue pointing to the existence of strange life form beyond what we know. But what kind of life could be thriving on this distant world? That's the question that scientists are eager to answer. Is it microscopic organisms similar to those found on Earth or something entirely different? Researchers have identified unusual features on the planet leading to claims that any life forms that may exist there may be far more complex than those on Earth. This revelation has sparked a mix of excitement and caution within the scientific community. While finding life beyond Earth is a monumental achievement, some experts advise caution. They emphasize the need to thoroughly understand these alien life forms before attempting any form of contact. So what exactly did scientists find on this planet? In 2019, scientists made an exciting discovery. They detected water vapor in the atmosphere of an exoplanet called K218b. This planet located about 124 light years away from Earth in the constellation Leo orbits a red dwarf star. The presence of water vapor makes K218b one of the most promising candidates in the search for habitable worlds beyond our solar system. This discovery was significant because it suggested the presence of a water cycle similar to that on Earth, which is a key ingredient for life as we know it. It is the smallest planet that has detectable atmospheric features and lies in the host star's habitable zone. This planet is rich in hydrogen, unlike our primarily nitrogen atmosphere. Some planetary scientists believe it's likely that K218b has liquid oceans which might increase the possibility of life. Surprisingly, last year researchers found evidence of carbon dioxide and methane in the spectrum, and this again could point toward a living ecosystem on the world. With all these data, scientists concluded that the abundance of methane and carbon dioxide and shortage of ammonia support the hypothesis that there may be a water ocean underneath the hydrogen-rich atmosphere in K218b. Further, last year observations revealed dimethyl sulfide, a compound that on Earth is produced largely by phytoplankton. According to NASA, on Earth DMS is only produced by life, mainly by marine phytoplankton, and the discovery of such a gas on a distant habitable world created excitement among astronomers. If this gas is indeed present in the atmosphere of a distant planet, then there is a high possibility that life forms may exist on the planet. Although Dr. Niku Madhusudan, the study's lead astrophysicist from Cambridge, cautions against jumping to conclusions. While preliminary data from the Webb telescope suggests that the probability of the presence of dimethyl sulfide is greater than 50%, further analysis is needed. 
The lack of a known natural geological or chemical process for generating dimethyl sulfide in the absence of life adds weight to the excitement. With all these data, we have now concluded that the probability of existence of life on this planet is nearly 50%. What do you put the chances of having found life? At this stage, I would say 50-50. But hold on. Scientists have recently made a fascinating claim. They now believe that new observations suggest that whatever life exists on this planet is different from any life form on Earth and we should know about different types of life forms before contacting them. So what exactly did scientists find here and what kind of life form could exist on this planet? Well, as we know, K218b is much larger than Earth, about 2.5 times the size of Earth. This means that the planet's hydrogen-rich atmosphere extends much farther than Earth's, creating unique environmental conditions. However, these conditions pose significant challenges to the possibility of life as we know it. If astronauts visited K218b, they would face extreme temperatures and pressures as they descended toward the planet's center. The lower they went, the more intense these conditions would become, making survival even more difficult. Even deeper within K218b, where the planet's surface might be, the situation is even more hostile. The extreme conditions there would prevent the stability of complex molecules necessary for life to thrive. On Earth, these molecules are the building blocks of life, but on K218b, they would not be able to survive due to the unstable environment. As a result, the kinds of complex life forms we see on Earth would not be able to exist on K218b's surface. The environment is simply too harsh and unstable for life as we know it to develop or sustain itself there. However, scientists are not ruling out the possibility of life entirely. They speculate that if further observations from Webb Telescope confirm that life does exist on K218b, then these life forms would be fundamentally different from anything we have encountered on Earth. Such life forms would have to be adapted to the planet's unique conditions, thriving in an environment with high hydrogen levels and extreme temperatures and pressures. Life forms in the universe could vary widely from those on Earth. Some might be extremophiles, thriving in extreme conditions like intense heat, cold, or high radiation. Others could be silicon-based instead of carbon-based using silicon as the backbone of their biological molecules. There might be organisms that don't rely on water but use other solvents like methane or ammonia. Additionally, some life forms could be microscopic, living in clouds of gas giants or massive complex entities inhabiting solid or liquid environments. These possibilities highlight the diversity and adaptability of life beyond our planet. Before I end this video, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Do you believe there is life on other planets? If yes, do you think it would be like life on Earth or completely different? Share your thoughts in the comments. That's it for today. Don't forget to like share, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating science videos about the universe and our place in it.